Hello, my name is David Sullivan Nesbitt, and I am the creator and co-founder of Where's My Canada? And I welcome you to day eight of the Great Canadian Secret Police Hunger Strike. It's March 25th, uh, it's Good Friday. Um, so what we're gonna do is something different today. I have no money and I have no cigarettes. So we have to go outside and we're gonna look for some butt. Okay, so what I thought I'd show you, this is Queen Street where I live. And right across the street is a really nice park called the Trinity Bellwoods Park. Uh, that's where I'm going to be living starting April the 1st. But last night was Thursday night before Good Friday, today of course. So that means a lot of people were out in bars and that means that they were hanging out outside throwing cigarette butts. Okay, if you look right here, this is a good one because this is big. And as you can see, there's at least half of it that's got tobacco left. So we'll get that one for sure. Now that park over there, that looks like that might be a good one, but actually no. You got to stay away from parks because of dog pee. Dog pee on cigarettes does not taste good, but someone did not pick up after their dog. Look at that one. That's a good one. That's really good. It's wet, but when we get home, I'll show you what we do and we could use that, but that's a really big that's a jackpot cigarette there. Okay, so we're back home. Uh, I got a pretty good uh, load of butt today. So what we do now is just separate everything out and spread the tobacco around so it dries. And I've got some rolling papers and we just make some cigarettes from there. Okay, so as you can see, I've separated out most of the butts uh, there's still some papers and stuff left over but the key thing is when you uh, get your tobacco spread it around as much as possible so that there's as much air surface it's like uh, sawdust you want to get as much air surface as possible Oop, there's another butt we'll just split that out okay so I'm just waiting for the tobacco to dry I think that the butt search today was very successful as you can see, uh, I want to wrap this up because I like to keep these short and sweet, just like me. Uh, I'm going to have some crushed tomatoes for dinner. And I have also a can of uh, crushed tomatoes that aren't spicy, but I'll put the two together, heat them up in a microwave, and that's what I'll eat. I will eat vegetables and fruit uh, if I have any. Um, I have maybe one or two more cans of crushed tomatoes and that's it. But I think it just makes common sense to eat a little bit of fruit if you can. Uh, I need some vitamins and minerals. But other than that, the hunger strike is continuing. I am not backing down. Uh, the Toronto Police and RCMP just stay far away from me. I am not speaking with you. I am not putting up with bullshit that I'm mental. That's just not going to be playing into the game here. Um, so. People are being backed into a corner. This has gone on for two years. Bell Canada has starved me to death and I am now living in complete poverty, which a lot of people in this country are living in. I'm lucky I've got a social media platform that although 90% of it is completely blocked, a few words are getting through to a few people and I am speaking for Canadian families that the secret police in this country it's time for you to go. Uh, go back and crawl back under that rock from which you came. Uh, thank you for coming. This is the end of day eight. It's March 25th. Uh, have a happy Easter. Tomorrow's Saturday. So I'll hope to do another update and hope to see you soon. Uh, all the bad people know where I live. So all the good people are now gonna know. I, you can find me at www.parkviewarms.ca and my phone number is 647-328-1767. I welcome all contact from the media. I will speak with Premier Kathleen Wynne and I will speak with Parliament. Other than that, anyone else who comes near me from law enforcement, go take a hike. 
That's it. Have a good day. Thanks for coming. Goodbye.